this is the route we're gonna run um just do normal thing going like this you want to chain the birds probably at some point don't do them all at the same time and then come over here do this do all those come over here this is probably hard you can skip this walking down to the right and then you just do this slowly you want to split the battle axes up because that's probably the hardest mob for you on fort um and then come do this this and then you want to walk by the pat and then you're into boss and that's that's the route nothing too crazy Yeah, the face cam streams probably are more enjoyable for everyone to watch because you can see like reactions and whatnot, which is good. Randy, please. If you did YouTube, if you did walkthroughs on strategy, imagine the views you would get. The Randy walkthroughs would be insane. Just so good, so powerful. All right, we're just gonna wait for these. Oh, yo, 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 wait for them to go by. Let me shimmy on behind. Right on everything here, and then I'm gonna have to weep back in to get these other skitterflies. Lost the man, that's not great. He onked, great shaman cheat death, very powerful. Try and cleave off the big lashers here. And I don't us, I'm not in voice with this guy, so I can't really call for a CD. So I'm just gonna front load my IVF. And when these guys are raging, the birds, you're gonna have some problems, so really be aware of that. I'm probably gonna torch one of these when I have a chance. I have a big shield here, so I could if I get some space. Mm. Really trying to get Vamp back up here before the raging happens. I use one rune tap, and then I'm just gonna kite this out a little bit. I still have health pot and a bunch of other cooldowns. I just don't wanna get too owned here. I'm gonna torch this one. AMS that so I get disoriented and we're good. This is pretty spicy. Probably should have maybe gone a little slower because of raging. We only have the one soothe, but this is going pretty alright right now. Got so many fucking dance ring weapons this full. Should just finish off the skitter flies here and then we're pretty much home free. I'll just rip the last fan flood so I can't die. And then I save perk for boss. These guys are baiting pretty well. That's actually kind of nice. When your group stands close together like that, it makes it a lot easier to dodge and then move as a group. So the healer and the other DPS are kind of close to me. Makes that a lot easier. The blue beanie guy is owning. Yeah. Dude, this, this guy must be a fucking Drac viewer. He's just doing big damn. Drac core viewer. Definitely not a Tettles viewer. That's for sure. It would be really cool if they hit Soothe though. Okay, yeah. There's the Tettles tettle viewer coming out. Pressing Soothe. Alright. Pretty good. I think that's fine time-wise, you know, no issue really with that. 240 for that, and then you do boss, throw some markers down for your group so they know where to stack. DK's fine right now. I think the DRW, DRW, DRW spam build is not good. I'm gonna use my twos on pull here, so they're up for the second set of ads. Probably should have held that tombstone a second, but it's fine. It was fun, and it was it was fun because it was OP. Quaking, really cool ethics in this boss. Uh, I'm gonna hit the vamp now to get a big shield, I think. So here, you're gonna put the tree on focus, put it in, and I'm not gonna torch this one. Maybe I should actually. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh. Yeah, I'm just, no, uh, I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake, for sure. Oh, well. I need to be stacked up here. I don't have potion for this, but I will have vamp blood, so I'll get a massive shield. So I'm going to put the D&D slow down. AMSing the stacks here at the start. Surely Thrust on an issue with the steam runner, right? Like, surely he doesn't do something stupid. Are you have DRD up here in a second? DRW. Words. We're in a wall during this debuff, so we're fine. Easy, no problem. That was pretty easy, right? The, all the DPS other cooldowns for that one, and then I will have everything back for the next set because I used it on pull. See how the burst force is in 32? My cooldowns are up in like 35. Very good. I can rip another vamp blood here, and I'll be up for the next burst force. 
This one, don't really have much for this, so we kind of need to blast it. Just gonna room tap once here, and then we need to get back together. A little aggressive, probably not necessary, but you know, it's fine. Oh, we are, this is looking a little weird, but I think we will persevere. D&D slow down, bother on the buttons. Yeah, we are good. Room weapons out, just blasting. I'm gonna hit Lichborn DR during this Bark Breaker, and I'm gonna get a big shield with that. I could have canceled that for even bigger shield, but right now we're just chilling. Like, we're, it hasn't even broken the shield. Yeah, streamer has hair. V very weird. Yeah, actively canceling it is definitely good. Like, it, it's good to cancel it, but. You don't have to, and if they change it, like it's still gonna be probably like an okay choice if you can time it out correctly to expire when you want it to. It just requires more thought. Because even on the first pull in this instance, you're gonna reach the cap um, with UE. So on this guy, he does all magic damage. So if you wanna stand in, you can like use this advanced AMS, you take no damage here, and then it's gonna hit you again here. Doesn't really matter. I think I'm just gonna rip my CDs. Everything was fine. Yes, I, I know it gives you a bigger shield, yes. But I think the canceling it, the, the, the part of it that's really nice is that it's on demand. Or like, if you know you need it for like a big hit, you can use it as your cooldown. Whereas if you do it the other way, it would uh, require more thought and more planning. To know you have to hit it like 15 seconds before this mechanic happens. Oh, man down, man down. Reef Torch. Hey, messing this one. Easy. Give me the suit. Please, suit. That hurt a little bit. Rune tap. Kind of nice. Your teammate didn't press soothe, and you do not get one shot because you have rune tap. Kind of cool. Doesn't really do much damage, though, so it's probably not a big deal on 21. What's my favorite affix? You mean like to play or like that is like designed well but not fun to play? What are these birds doing here? To play? I think the uh, the affix that we had at the end of last expansion was good. Or you mean like affixes we still have? Because the encrypted affix was pretty cool, I think. It gave you like a lot of options. Um, same with like back at the end of uh, what was the expansion? It was a BFA where you had the, the pillars where you go underneath and then you could like come up wherever you wanted when you killed them. Like those are cool effects because they didn't penalize you if you didn't play with the rogue, which I think is cool. Now infested is not good. Um, but the the effects it was encrypted and then whichever one you could either not kill the mobs and then would, you'd fight on the last boss, right? The pillars would be at the last boss that you activate. That one is cool. Because um, it gave you a lot of like options and flexibility with what you want to do in the dungeon. Anytime you're just forced to deal with the affix, it's annoying-ish, right? Whereas when you have choice, it's more fun. Awakening, yes, that's what it's called. That one is cool. For normal affixes, though, like, um... I don't know, what do we got? I think it's something that's, like, fun, but also, like, good, but... I feel like none of the affixes are necessarily fun, it's just which one's the least bad. So, I don't know. Like, quaking is, like, doesn't matter for DK, right? So it's like you don't care about it. Raging and bolstering are annoying as a tank. I, I feel like all the affixes, uh, yo, thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate it. I feel like all the affixes have different things for certain people in the group. Like some, I, I feel like most people enjoy the healer affixes more because like Burst and Grievous, like they don't have to worry about, they don't interact with it. But then healers are like, this is fucking annoying. And then explosive, another one where like healers have to interact with it and so do like tanks a little bit. But other people don't, so it's like, what do you really want here? I don't think there's anything too much you need to say on these pulls. Um, you just kind of just play the Eagles, do damage. Make sure you taunt the big guy when it comes down so your team doesn't get hit. If you have Spiteful out or Bursting, the healer will get healer threat. So that's just something to keep into consideration when the apps are different. Um, and you need one kick when it's just one out. And when there's two out, you need two kicks. So you either mark one, get the kick, or whatever you need to do. 
We only have one suit, right? That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Alright, well this is nice and chill. On this boss in a pug, I don't think we want to go to 5, because it's going to be hard to get everyone in the zone. So it might be a go to 4 and then dunk, or 3, depending on how it goes. We have Lust in a minute, so let's say Lust Burn after 3 stacks. That that should work, right? Or go 4. But yeah, you kind of seem to figure Okay, so the healer said we can do 4, so you can do 4. Just make sure you double check with your healer with how many stacks you're going to go to here. I'm just going to pop my twos on pole here. Not playing with an evoker, so that means I have to deal with the bleed every time. Right? So blood shield is good on the bleed, so you can see it right here. I'll probably, like, death strike before it. You AMS every screech, so you don't get the debuff. Really good. Force X is not that good, Chad. You can go five on Tyrannical. Um, so here, I have big blood shield, right? I don't really take much damage. We're just chilling. Kind of nice. Uh, same thing. We're just waiting. You can aim at every other screech, so by the time it gets high, you don't really have any stacks. It's gonna peck out of this, so I'm gonna hit rune tap on this. Hit a death strike, we're kinda chilling. I'm saving this for the uh, burn. Randy, aren't you gonna end up playing with me because Yips doesn't play live? Same thing, blood shield right before. You're chilling. AMSing this one. He's probably going to hit Devo on the next one, is what I'd imagine. I'm going to dunk one here. I usually do this in my groups where I'll dunk the first two and let it... Oh, alright. He said no, me. I didn't have Blood Shield there, so I pressed Vamp and Rune Tap. Not an issue. And then here he's going to use a button on this next one. Here's the squishiest. Let's love a zone over there. Oh, we took no damage. How good are we? Alright. Do we need to dunk one more? Oh no, nice. We're gonna rip a big one here. Boom. Rising. Probably shouldn't have potion there. It's probably better to save shock and something else. Um Alright, well, this is pretty nice. We didn't get the bug, really good. If you push him below 40% in some weird time window, he won't spawn the other side. That's how I understand it, but that might be wrong. We're gonna go over and try and dunk here. Use a button since you're on the move. Dunking one. Then I'm going to dunk two here, and then I'm going to grab on the third one. I'm just going to rip my twos here, even though there's a pretty hard pull on the next one. I think we'll be fine. I think he aimed for the group, and he bubbled for his uh, self. Oh, man down, man down. No. What is happening? All right. Um, I think we go three, and that's it. Get another torch in before the next set of fire. Yeah, Magna, you picked the wrong wrong horse in this race. Hey, I'm messing this one, and then I'm going to dunk here in a second. You can use the dust you use on Raz in this boss to make it so you can see the fire through his wings. That might help people that are having issues with this. Good tip. No, you can do them. I just wouldn't pull two in the same pull. That's it. Just don't do two at once. And this route is you pull a couple battle axes, but you only do, I think, one pull with two. Which, if you have a rogue, you skip, right? But... No rogue here. I'm trying to save Glens for the next pull because it's pretty difficult. Nice blood shield there. And we're going to try and get RP now for the next pull. Uh, I don't really want to use any of my big DRs, so I'm just kind of chilling. And it's going to be perfect timing, right? Because there's no bleed as we finish. 4 out of 10 for hasty. Yeah, I mean, you'll probably get Yips to do it because it's pretty chill now. But you do have to time the keys, Magni, which is the problem. No more the Depleto shit. Snow and ice. Dude, it's pretty cold here, Randy. It's like 60 degrees. And we're going over here. So here, put the Scepter on focus. If you play with a Rogue, he can do the Scepter for you. He's a personal on that. Dodged it. Good. And then we're going to grab all these. Oh, we're just going to wall here. Make sure he gets off roots. Sleeting that. No, man down. Uh, I really don't know if we're going to res this guy. Moving these away from that. We did not res. Good. It's always good to put the thing on focus that can wipe the group. If you know how to deal with the thing that will kill you. 
if you're not very comfortable with this pull, put the battle axe on focus and then you put your grips onto the slash there so you never get the bleed and you'll have grip up for every single one. That's really nice. I know how to deal with my cooldowns because I play extra cooldowns. I play rune tap right, so I have an extra button to use. But if you're not comfortable with it, you can do that. And then you get every grip on the rain so your team doesn't have to dodge. When it's raging, however, you're going to be scared. Like, be, be afraid. The Scepter's dying here, so I'm going to swap my focus. Hopefully it dies. Yeah, so I swap my focus to the Battle Axe. And then I get the grip on that. And then you're pretty much home free at this point. If you stop every Battle Axe, you're not going to take much damage here. You might have a big shield coming in soon. I'm going to drop a D&D &D slow so I can get a Torch. Really good. Oh, no. I think that's a wait. Wait. These advocates are fine. Just play with Zeus. Play with an Evoker. Evoker has AoE Soothe. Play with another Soothe and you're going to be okay. Yeah, it came stream big. Dude, that base G emote is so fucking good. This Moonkin is owning. They invited. This guy's a blaster. Same thing, put this on focus. I like to just do the scepter and then CD the battle axe, but if you're scared about the battle axe, you can focus the battle axe and then have someone else in your group do the scepter. Really good thunder on that. The pull lived a while. Uh Alright, this is fine. I'm gonna swap my focus to this. I'm gonna grab one set of foragers here. And I have grip now for the battle axe, so we're chilling. Nothing to worry about here. Actually, I'm just gonna do this. I don't have the GCD where I want it. And we're kinda just vibing out. And then I'll just walk up to the next pole when I can. That's all dead, and then we're just gonna walk up on the side here. Not the best thundering, but it's okay. Here, you can put the battle axe on focus. I have all my buttons, so I'm just going to do this. Double battle axe. Probably not the best if you're not comfortable with this, but... I'm good to stop one every time, CD the other one. We have this guy ripped a beam, how good is he? I'll taunt that one. Little mouse over taunt, razzle dazzle. And then I'll probably be sleeting the first set of lectures here. Oh, we stunned it. How good is this DH? CDing that. And then I have sleet up when I hear the sound of the battle axe too, is the other thing. We're waiting here, we're waiting here. You can target the battle axe that you don't have on focus, so you can stop both if you're scared. So you go boom, one, and then if you see your focus cast, you can get the other one. Really easy. I'm gonna sleep these casts. And then I still have my grip for the battle axe on my focus that is enraged, because it's gonna cast soon. I'm just going to grip this one in my face. And I'm going to torch it so it doesn't cast again. Probably should have torched the Mana Fiend there, actually. Because that's going to kill my team. But you can always just get kicks. Wait, our Paladin didn't take kick? I just realized that. Holy shit, what? I don't like Gore Fiends very much. I think it's it's too costly of a talent point. Unless you use it to get down to there. But even then, uh, I don't know. It's not great. Put this guy in focus. We're chilling. Throw some bad here on pull. I'm just going to hit a rune tap so I can use extra damage bubbles. Didn't click on that. And you want to stop the rain. Oh, what are we doing? Okay, we're going to come back over here. Grip one. And I still have my grip for the scepter here. So I get the grip on it now. No rain. Lust win. I don't, I don't know, man. These guys probably should have lusted on the bird. I, I think the Sham may have forgot. Magni's horse, Blue Beanie, is not having the best showing in, the, in this race. But yeah, that's Magni Math for you. Magni Math cannot be trusted. Like these Warlocks guys, they cannot get away with it. I have a bind for Focus Grip, Regular Grip, and then Mouse Over Grip. So I have three Grip Binds. Um, they're all on the same like button on my mouse, and then it's just like a modifier. So that's what I do. Same with like Kick. Like Kick's bound to Mouse Button 7, and then there's like a Focus and a Mouse Over on like Shift and Control. I have A-bomb limb for this, makes it really easy to grip it all. Hit a big shield. Uh, this is not the best threat here. Should be fine now. Yeah, we're good. 
And then you want to be cleaving off the big guy. Nothing too crazy here. Alright, we're just going to get a full RP bar. Walk into this. AMS the Thundering. Oops. Do we live? We're doing it. We're doing it. Yes. This key is actually really tight. We are not playing well. Plus. I don't know if we should lust now or what. This is not very good, I will say. Like this is this is looking very not good. Sure. We're just gonna do it just lost it. So we lost now, we're fine. I'm gonna put the Scepter on focus. There's two battle axes in this pole. This is not the best, but this is kinda what you have to do because this guy died. So I have the Scepter on focus here. He's gonna get the kick. And we should be good. He's lusting. So we still got one more lust in this key, so this is fine. This is definitely winnable still. We however did use the beam when they're at full, so we're gonna have some raging things that are gonna be a problem. Demon Hunter lived, choose life, just leading those. Stop the both battle axes, we also typhoon them. So we're looking pretty alright here. And you know what? We're actually, I think, fine on time because we have only two pulls after the boss. Both are very nice and relaxing. Using buttons here because it's raging bleed. I'm put one on focus so I can stop it, target the other one. Magni Red is not going to punk. Mag Magni Red is awful. That is not a character. Yeah, this this is just not the best, but it's it's okay. I should have gripped that. I have not done high jade this week. I heard the little guys rage though, and then you just lose, which is cool, really cool. So this boss will be dead by 25. We'll have seven minutes to do the pulls. I think mean, I think we're fine. Um, once the guys are here, I'm gonna pull, torch on pull, and we'll pop all our buttons. AMS the first one, nice and chill. Probably could have gotten without AMSing that, but just getting it on CD. <sighs> surely my team soaks here? Yeah, surely, surely. Bam, Bruins have this one. All good. Uh. I'm kind of debating. You can disadvance this, drop two in the same spot, then move. Gives your group more space in melee. Kind of nice. You can soothe them, but if your group doesn't have AoE soothe, you just get fucked. That's the problem, right? Someone please. Oh, I get it. AMSing this one. We're doing a little bit of trolling right now. Like a, like a moderate, like, yo, like, please soak that one. I need a dispel, homeboy. Please soak them behind boss. Please, thank you. No gaming. This boss is living. Like, this is gonna be three minute boss. We have to let one go in, I think, almost. Going away from my group at the entrance. And then I'll move the boss in now so the orbs don't spawn on it. Very good. And we need to come back. Destroy the DH with, yeah, he did it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good. So I think we can actually kill the boss before we get the overlap. Yeah, Temple, you need the Evoker suit, I think, for sure, this week, which is really stupid. I don't know why that's a thing. The little guys don't bolster, but they rage. It's just fucking demonic. I don't know. So the, the overlap happens at 248. I think we're going to win before that. Yeah, surely we win, right? Nice, good job, Demon Hunter Man. Uh... Yeah, just oh, he ran out of zone. All right, make your bed. My bed is made, in, okay. I just have stuff on it. I have like my bag, I think, from when I was traveling. I haven't unpacked. I just need to unpack. I'm just gonna torch this, save uh, Western for the bowl. We're fine on time. Okay. 
Yeah, I need to unpack my bags. I'll do that later. I gotta do laundry tomorrow. It'll be fine. This is, this is a tight key, to be fair. But we do... We do get lust. Yo, Corey, thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, why wouldn't I do that? What do you mean? Dude, my hair was so long before. My hair was like down here almost. I was, I was just too much flow. It, it, it was not it. Put the evoker on focus. Get the kicks. And we need one more pull after this. And then we're gonna come down to the stairs to the little, the good little spot here. What's gonna, okay, we got that. These should walk in now. Sleeting these. Did you guys, did you get big IO today, Corey? I saw you time the one AV before I left. Did you time the Hulls 27 too? It looked pretty good before I left. Gripping this, it's raging. 30 points, big. 26 five, that's a good one, yeah. I'm just gonna AMS for smart RP here. Yo, thanks for the sub, man, appreciate it. We're gonna have about three minutes of boss, so yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get uh, we can get AV26 today, maybe Hob, and then maybe Ruby. That'd be kind of nice. I think uh, Temple and uh, Algothar are really fucking hard on 26. Surely no one pulls in the middle here, right? Like, we're good? We're waiting? Okay, we're, we're waiting. Nice, nice, nice. Good wait. Just let it pass. All right. This is actually good. Then I can just bring it in. Pick that in. Hit the tombstone. We have a thundering. Everyone's gonna get in nice and easy. Gripping that in. I'm just gonna torch this guy. We got plenty of time. This is looking good. It's blasting me, just AMSing. Get some RP. The shields, you can stop, I guess, if you want to. It gives them haste, which is kind of annoying on the casters, but it's not like end of the world if you don't stop it. I'm just gonna sleep for the melee. What do you mean percent? This is percent. Huh? Are we trolling? This thing is green. Pull into boss. Yeah, we're, we're running out of time here. We gotta go. We gotta go. Just kidding. We have plenty of time. We got two battle reses. Clotter, three math. Is this guy a math magician? I'm gonna put this guy in focus so I can stop it. If needed. And that's pretty much it. This boss is pretty chill. Once you see people are at two stacks, you can tank it next to the walls. So they can drop it easier. Oh, uh, the puddles. But other than that, like this boss is pretty straightforward. So here they're at one each. I'm gonna go to two stacks, just auto here. I'm just gonna dis uh, disadvance, stay in. Use a rune tap. I don't think I need 2021. Yeah. Don't need and if you stand really far from it, it's hard to dodge the breath. I'm gonna eat another one here, and then where's Blue Beanie? There's Blue Beanie. So he drops, right? So he's dropping here, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, buddy. Do it. Look at him go, look at him go. Blue Beanie. You can outrange the breath. I'm not sure about that one. I don't, I don't know about that one, <laughs> to be fair. I, I don't know. Ready for what? Are you about to resub? Is that what's about to happen? A big resub? And if you want to, you can stand with AMS. But I'm just gonna go out, press the torch. So he's not dropping. Why are you in East Uganda? So I drop next time I get hit. So it's like, I could stand over here if I wanted to. And I could also force drop if I wanted to. Like if I want to just like this, boom. And then it's forced there. And then I can move it away. That's also something you can do. Yeah, this Drew is owning. This Drew is actually playing pretty good. I'm gonna AMS this one, get a little Arpizo. Oh, I didn't get the stack, no. Yeah, this Drew they invited is good though. He's, he's definitely definitely a blaster. Why is my cast bar tilting me? Oh, because it goes over that. Yeah, I mean, it can be a little annoying. 
It, it's really annoying on class that I have to cast on, but I would have to redo all my UI and other things, and that just seems fucking annoying. Because anytime I play caster, they don't have this bar down here. It's just the tanks I play now. We got these buttons, so now we have extra buttons. Things are heating up here. Yeah, dodge balls. Alright, so it's looking like... Looking like we're fine. So have lust. We just are in kind of a little a little predicament with our positioning. So we just move away. Stay in the D and D. That guy's dropping, so we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna come over here, I guess. Like, bro, what the fuck is going on? All right, that was pretty chill. No shroud. That was pretty chill. No issues with that. Just press W route. Doing this before the boss was fine with Lust. And just the double battle X pulls are kind of hard if you're not used to it. Back to sub, baby. Nice. Easy. 